Hey guys, welcome back to Hersey's Garage and today's episode we are going to change the cabin air filter in this bad boy which is a 2010 Nissan Maxima. Uh, last video I changed my air, uh, the air filter in my 2008 Honda Ridgeline so if you want to go back and look at that one uh, if you have a Ridgeline uh, I suggest you do that. But like I said, today we're going to change this little guy and hopefully it's not as bad as my last one uh, was because it had about that much dirt in there and uh, uh, probably a little mold and, and all that other good stuff. So uh, if you stick around, you can watch me do this and you can save yourself a whole bunch of money. All right, see you in a couple seconds. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do is come over to the car, uh, the passenger side, and you're gonna, of course, open up the door, if I can find the door. And then, let's find out where this guy's at. Okay, right underneath here, your glove box, and it's gonna be all the way in the corner. Right, uh, here's the console here, so, all the way back in the uh, the corner over here and let me position you up a little better there is a little clip right here this clip you just want to lift it up and then pull out and it will fall down and what it is it looks like this and then right behind there there she is there's your air filter and then what you want to do is kind of insert your finger in here because there's not a lot of space in here insert your finger in here and it's kind of hard when you do it with one hand but you kind of gently try to finagle it out of there if that's even a word there we go you get kind of the bottom part here and start gently pulling it out Actually, you don't even need to gently pull it out because it's dirty, so uh, no big deal if you mess it up. But you keep pulling, and eventually she'll get out of there. So let me stop this and use two hands, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, she's out, and here's what she looks like. If you can tell, let me get it out on the ground. Yeah, she's dirty, ugh, nasty. And let me tell you, those things are hard to get out of in that space. Um, don't cur curse my name uh, when you're trying to get it out of there because yeah, it's not fun, it's crazy. But um, if you work at it, you kind of fold it up like this when, you're, when it's coming out. Um, it makes it a heck of a lot easier because these little edges right here want to grab on you and and it's hard to get this stupid thing out of there so when you go to put it back in um, I actually don't have the new one with me so I can't show you the exact new one being put back in but it's the same process as the, getting this out um, and a little tip and trick is the same way that you got it out you want to kind of fold it up the new one and then when you go to place it back in, do the same thing. You go underneath and then you kind of slide it up into it. And then as you're pushing it through, you want to keep, like I said, folding this down so uh, this back part doesn't get caught either. Because if you just try to put it in here just like this with it this way and just shoving it in, um, it's not going to work. There's no way because that hole is much smaller than this actual size right here. So, uh, like I said, that's a good little trick is to just crunch it up and then shove it in there. But that's the spot is right back there and really easy to do. It takes a couple of seconds and yours is probably going to be as gooky and junk as mine if you haven't ever changed it. Look at that. It's left a big old patch on my driveway. Disgusting. So change these out, guys. 
and this is going to save you a ton of money. Uh, and you don't want to take it to those uh, Jiffy Lube guys, or I always bag on Jiffy Lube, but whoever you uh, take it to, uh, your local shop there, uh, they're going to charge you a ton of money for changing something out uh, that you can do uh, in less than a couple of seconds. Um, well, maybe longer than that. Maybe, th maybe three minutes at the most, uh, unless you uh, get it stuck back there uh, really good or whatever. But uh, yeah, really cheap. I'll even show you how much it's going to uh, cost you. Uh, I usually get the stuff at Walmart, um, um, and if not, you can get it at AutoZone or whoever you like to get it from. Uh, so um, anyway, just get out there and change it yourself is my, my whole point. You're going to save yourself a lot of money. All right, give me a thumbs up if you liked it, uh, and uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button uh, there, and then comment below, because if you don't comment, then nobody gets to see this, because the uh, YouTube algorithm won't pick it up. So thank you guys very much, and I guess we will uh, see you on the next one. Peace! I forgot what I was going to say.